I would like to take a moment to talk about the passing of Terao, former Sekiwake, and the Shikoroyama Oyakata, uh, who passed away on December 17th due to uh, congested heart failure. Uh, he was 60 years old. Uh, I've received a, a, a several chats about the speaking of uh, Terao, and uh, thank you very much for mentioning because he was uh, such a huge star, not only to sumo fans but uh, to me as well. And uh, I've followed uh, uh, Terao, you know, all these years uh, as a fan and as a uh, sumo commentator. I was so shocked to hear the news, and I'm sure that everybody else was as well. Uh, he was going to turn 61 in early February, so he still had like a little more than four years left as a stable master, but uh, that is not going to happen, and that is very uh, disappointing. Uh, I have some fun memories of Terao. Uh, let me show you how big of a fan I was with Terao. Look at my uh, uh, sumo cars. This is Terao defeating Musashi Maru when Terao was 36 years and nine months old, winning his seventh Kimboshi. And I believe uh, this was in the 1999 November tournament in Kyushu, and uh, defeating Te uh, Musashi Maru to pick up his seventh Kimboshi. Another card of Terao-san. He was famous for his uh, strong pushing and thrusting attack, uh, speedy attack, Terao pumping irons. Uh, as you can see how big of a fan I was with Terao, and uh, here's Terao-san with Kesho Mawashi as well. I also brought you uh, uh, my uh, memorabilia uh, of Terao. This was from the 1998 uh, November tournament at Banzuke, the e Banzuke, or the Illustrated Banzuke, and on the right, right here. This is Terao right here. He is listed at the Maigashira 11, and uh, if I can read it correctly, it says he only weighs 113 kilograms, Terao, in 1998 November Basho Ebanzuke. This is what made uh, Terao so special, huh? because uh, uh, you know, everybody else weighs about what, 130, 140, 150 kilos in Ozumo, especially in the Makunouchi top division, but Terao only weighing 113 kilos and accomplishing all these tremendous records. He competed for 93 tournaments in Makunouchi, ranked sixth all time. Uh, uh, Makunouchi appearance of 1,378 matches, amazing. Uh, hard pressure thruster. And uh, former Ozeki, I mean Sekiwake, uh, he gave his 120% every time he stepped into the ring. Three outstanding performance award, uh, three fighting spirit prizes, one technique prize, and the seven Kimboshi. And I remember that seventh Kimboshi because that's the year in 1999 I started my uh, live play-by-play -play sumo broadcast for NHK Japan Broadcasting Corporation. So I still remember that uh, big moment, Terao scoring a huge upset Kimboshi victory over Musashi Maru. And uh, so what I think of uh, Terao, uh, you know, I... You know, actually, I met him uh, earlier this year in the January tournament. Uh, during January tournament, right across the hallway from here, I said to Terao-san, I said, uh, hey, great to see you out of hospital, Terao-san. And uh, we were able to do uh, Abi's interview uh, recently. And Terao-san said, hey, Hiro-san, come to our stable anytime you want, uh, because uh, uh, you're always welcome. Terao was uh, such a gentleman, such a uh, you know, man with uh, you know, great generosity. Uh, he treated everybody the same way. And uh, so great kindness and generosity. Thank you. And um, I loved his commentary as well. He was you know, just you know, precise to the point. So accurate, sharp, accurate insights and analysis. So uh, we will all miss Terao for sure. He competed until he was 39 years old. So we, you know, we mentioned about Tamawashi and some other guys at the Iron Man, but hey, Terao is the Iron Man of Sumo. Now, I'm sure Abi, 
the Shikoroyama Bea Rikishi will dedicate the Hatsubasho to his late stable master. And what's going to happen with Shikoroyama Bea and the Rikishi who belongs to that stable? Well, right now we expect the whole Masho, the Tatsutagawa Oyakata, to succeed the stable, and I'm sure he'll become a good Oyakata. I think he'll be a great leader because uh, he was taught by a great leader in Terao. So Homasho says he believes it's now his responsibility to pass on Shikoriyama's teachings to the younger generation. So let's hope that uh, uh, Homasho does a good job. Now that process for Homasho to become the new leader of Shikoriyama Bea is still being worked out because it must be approved by the Japan Sumo Association but, uh, before it becomes official. But hopefully the tradition, I mean the transition process goes smoothly. So uh, once again, uh, it's so sad, Terao-san passing away. Uh, we miss you, but uh, you will be remembered by all of us for, for the rest of our lives. So uh, thank you so much, Terao-san, and rest in peace. Hey, thanks for watching Sumo Primetime. If you're enjoying our channel, make sure and click and subscribe and check out all of our contents.